Okay, so today I'm going to do a re review of some Korean wines. I don't have some of the things that they call wine here just because um, I only went to one store. This is what I found at the one store. It was a grocery store. And then also some of the wine that they have in Korea I don't think is actually wine. I want to say it definitely isn't wine, but that won't make some people happy, even though I just said it. Um, I haven't actually opened all these, but from what I can tell, these are all, except for possibly this one, but they, they're all made from grapes or some kind of juice, something like that. Um, they have something called makgeolli, and they call it rice wine, but it's not rice wine. It's closer to rice beer than rice wine because... Makgeolli has about the same alcohol content as beer, roughly, and then similar shelf life. It has carbonation, just like beer. It uh, needs to be refrigerated. Um, a lot of stuff like that. I actually have some Makgeolli. Never mind, I guess I lied. I thought I had some makgeolli. But makgeolli is made from rice. It has still, sometimes has some grains of rice in it. It's a little cloudy. So there's some sediment in the bottom. So if this was makgeolli, it'd have a little sediment in the bottom. Quite a bit, actually. And you shake it up before you open it. Some, well, I shake it up. Some people don't. Some people think if you only drink the clear part, then it's a little healthier. It has many carbs or whatever, but... I don't know, which it definitely could be true. There, I wonder what's all in the sediment. Maybe it's carbs and sugars. So there's carbs, sugar, calories, all that stuff. So it could be a little healthier if you just drink the top of the makgeolli, just the clear part. But anyways, let's get into these rice wines. And I might not try to butcher the names today. And I'll just post the pictures of all the bottles on the video and I have a picture of the prices and everything and I don't have it written down so I'm just going to post the prices and you can see this metal piece stays on just like on the soju bottles and again what I like to do is twist this and it has a number on the inside, just like the soju bottle, so you can play that game. Or I guess if you didn't see that video, I can show you really quick. You just twist this enough time so it's a tight, straight piece of metal. I hold the base of it because then I just feel like it's a little easier on it. It doesn't, it's a little stronger now. Instead of not holding the base and the whole time you're twisting, you're moving the metal back and forth and weakening it. So now, hopefully at least, so I held it like that, it'll be a little stronger, but <clears throat> not always. So when that flicks off, then the person on either, sorry, you pass this around the circle of people that you're drinking with, each person flicks it one time, whoever flicks it off wins. So you want to flick it off, and then the person, the people on either side of that person, the person, the people on either side of the winner, they have to drink a shot of soju, or if you're drinking rice wine, I guess you could drink a shot of rice wine or beer or somac, whatever you might be drinking. And then after you do that, so two people were forced to drink there, then there's a number on the inside, and that winner knows the number. They're allowed to look at the number. A lot of times you could put like a Kleenex inside to hide that number. Um, but yeah, then that the winner knows that number, then you go around the circle, people try to guess the number. It's hot in here. Um, the first person will guess, well, the number's 26. First person guesses 10. The winner of the last game will say higher. Next person guesses, oh, sorry. Yeah, they t guess 10, so, and it's 26, so it's higher. Then the next person guesses 30, lower. So then the third person has to guess between 10 and 30. Okay? And then it goes around until somebody guesses it. And this time the winner is actually the loser. Uh, so they have to drink a shot. Granted, if you're 
drinking with friends, the goal is to drink. So as long as you're not close to your uh, your point where you shouldn't go past, then you should be fine. This one tastes good. Um, this one's 18.2% alcohol. It is good. Um, well, actually, it has two different numbers on it. Seems like usually the number on the cap is the alcohol percentage. Okay. 12.5% alcohol. The 18.2% that must be how much juice is in it. I don't don't quote me on that, but I think that's probably 18.2% uh, juice and then on the cap it says 12.5% for the alcohol. Okay. This one smells really good. It's smooth. Um, it's pretty rich. It's, uh, it's a good red red wine. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of, but it's hard to place it because it's a lot different than anything I would have in the U.S. or Australia or Europe. Well, I haven't been to Europe, but wines that I've had from Europe. It is good. Okay, this one. And again, the metal piece stayed on this. And this one doesn't have a number on the inside. And usually people wouldn't be buying rice... Uh, I shouldn't say rice wine. People wouldn't be buying wine, Korean wine, for playing that flicking game. Well, I'm assuming they wouldn't be. I just haven't heard of people doing that. Um... I wouldn't say people don't do it, but it just isn't as common, I think. Um, but this one, you could play that game. This one, you could play that game. But you can't play the, the number game with this one. You could play the number game and the flicking game with the first one. Hmm. This one doesn't smell good. I kind of wish I wouldn't have smelled it. So it's 11% alcohol. So it's less alcohol. And it smells, honestly, it smells really bad. Doesn't sm doesn't taste as bad as it smells. Doesn't taste that good though. I'm trying to think what this was. It, it has what looks like bamboo on the front. It does taste like bamboo. So this might be made from bamboo. I think this was made from bamboo. I mean, I've never stuck bamboo in my mouth before, the stalk or the leaves, but. It tastes like what I th think bamboo might taste like. Okay, well I'm not gonna drink any more of that one. Um, well, at least for this video, I'm not gonna waste any alcohol, so I'll drink it at some point. The initial smell on this one didn't smell much better. But hopefully it is better. This one's 13% alcohol. So this first one, what was it 12? Yeah, 12.5%, 11%, and 13%? 13%. This one has the metal ring staying on, and it has a number, kind of. Yeah, it says 34. That one's really hard to read. Especially if you're drunk, that'd be really hard to read.
Hmm. This one does. This one tastes like it might be made from rice. Hmm. It has a weird flavor. Not a big fan of this one either. Nah, I'm, I'm good on that one. That's enough for me for for now. Um, these two, not that good. This one had a bad uh, smell, bad uh, taste, bad bad aftertaste. This one, bad bad smell, kind of. The initial taste was okay, and the aftertaste really isn't that great. And I have higher hopes for these two. This one, I'm not sure. I like the picture on this one, but it looks looks nicer, fancier. It looks like it could be good. Being optimistic, I don't know. This one has blueberries on it. This one tastes like blueberries. It has 15% alcohol. So this one has more alcohol than both these easily and it tastes way better than both these and I can't remember the price off the top of my head but I'll post it uh, I think the price is probably around the same I can't remember exactly these two if they if these two taste better and it's higher alcohol then maybe they cost I don't know 501 more which in the US is less than 50 cents This one has a really good taste up front. Tastes like blue blueberries. The aftertaste doesn't taste like blueberries as much. I can't smell it that well. Okay. Okay, I smell blueberries in it. It's a mixture of blueberries and alcohol. Obviously, but the thing is that's what I smell. I don't really smell anything else. It's not a harsh alcohol smell. I can just smell there's some alcohol in it. Uh, I can get a hint of blueberries. So that's a good one. Yeah, I, I like that one. And these are all cold, by the way. I didn't mention that before. Um, to me, most drinks are better cold. A lot of these, the ones that I've tasted so far, I feel like this one, this one might be good or pretty good or just, I don't know. It, it'd be good on a warm day, cold day. It'd be good if it was cold or warm, I think. Flavor was good. The flavor is good. It's a unique flavor. I like it. It's hard to describe it. Purple. So maybe there's grape in it. It's hard to describe that one. It's a unique one. I like the bottle. It seems like it'd be a good one to drink on a hot day, cold day, or refrigerated or unrefrigerated. Uh, I mean, even that one would probably be better cold, but that one seems like it'd be the best out of these so far. Cold, uh, warm, and then these two, if this one's like that one, Yeah, then these two would be my next choice if you if you don't have a chance to drink them cold. Uh, then these two don't seem like they're gonna be good warm or cold, but they're probably they're probably better cold. And of these two, this one's better, in my opinion. Up front, aftertaste, smell, everything was bad on this one. Up front, the taste was okay on this one. Aftertaste wasn't that great, but wasn't terrible this one the last one of this kind was 15% this one is 13% let me just make sure that was actually 15% yeah 15% oh this one has more of a scent more smell more of a bouquet however you want to word it it smells good I like it Looks like this one's blackberry and 
uh, raspberry. I think I like this one more than the blueberry. So. Yeah, I like this one. And I almost, I want to say I can taste the blackberries and the raspberries. It's not just one mixed, one flavor that I can taste. Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, yeah, all of them have kept the ring on them so far. This brand seems to not have the number on it either. This brand has the number on it as well. And I actually, I save these. I twist them and I save them for later. So if I have friends over and we need something to do, we can play that game. Whether we're drinking soju, wine, beer, mockley, or I don't know. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> well, my phone cut me off. I'm not exactly sure where. I don't know why, but my OnePlus doesn't want to take long videos. I mean, as long as I have a good battery and I have space for the memory, I don't know why I wouldn't keep taking video. Anyways, this one, uh, I think you probably missed the whole thing, but this one kind of tastes like there's ginseng in it. This one, it does taste like there's maybe a chance that it's made from rice. So again, I don't know if I would call <clears throat> that one wine just because of like shelf life, how it's prepared, what kind of yeast you would use. Well, I shouldn't even say that because you can use wine yeast when you're making beer. So the yeast doesn't really matter. It's the ingredients other than the yeast like uh, blueberries, raspberries blackberries stuff like that this one I feel like there could be blueberries in it as well but yeah wine is some kind of berry with sugar and wine yeast and water you don't have rice a grain in wine in my opinion there's rice wine in Korea but it's rice wine makgeolli <clears throat> I don't see anything that would call that would make me call makgeolli rice wine other than the fact that i really like makgeolli tastes really good i love makgeolli actually like i drink it a lot if i'm out walking around and i'm trying to walk home and it takes two hours which i've been known to do i'll walk home two hours instead of taking a taxi because i'd rather buy one or two bottles like i'd bu rather buy a bottle of makgeolli for a dollar fifty two dollars and a bag of chips, just something to drink and snack on while I'm walking home. It takes two hours, I could buy another bottle, whatever. And so I might spend at most $5 instead of spending $10, $15 on a taxi. And you might be thinking, oh, you're only saving five or $10. But the thing is, I know people do that three or four times a week. So they'll spend $10, $15. $15 is a pretty normal number. $15 at least three times a week. I, at least three times a week. So that's forty-five dollars. It's rounded up to fifty. Fifty dollars a week, or fifty weeks throughout the year. I mean, there's fifty-two, but let's just say fifty. You're spending twenty-five hundred a year, <laughs> just on taxis. And as you're spending the the fifteen dollars, you're like, oh, it's not that much money. It's just fifteen dollars. It's like, yeah, it's fifteen dollars today. What about a year from now? What does it add up to? Those are the same people that are like, oh, I don't get paid enough money. I never have any money. But they're going out to eat all the time. They're buying the Budweiser, Jack Daniels, Johnny Walker, stuff like that at Korean bars in Korea instead of buying <clears throat> soju. Even at a bar, even at a restaurant, you can buy soju for $4. And this is equivalent to like four beers four low alcohol beers because it's around this is 20.1 percent alcohol granted now a lot of soju at bars is more like three three beers um well 
Actually, I worded that wrong. This is at, this is between four and five beers. The soju at restaurants nowadays in Korea is around 16.5% instead of the 20.1%. So 16.5%, that's around four beers. So, um, yeah, I could say 20.1%. 20, 20 it, it just depends on how much percentage you're thinking of for a beer. So these, this is like five beers. The lower alcohol percent one is like four beers. And I, I like the higher alcohol content beers. So this, to me, this isn't five beers. To me, it's more like four beers, maybe three beer, beers even. Depends on what kind of alcohol percentage you're looking at. So anyways, this one, let's get back to this one. Smells like ginseng a little bit. Honestly, with the smell, it smells like there could be some kind of fruit in there. I don't want to say there is because it doesn't taste like there is. It doesn't smell like there is that much, but maybe there is. Definitely tastes like ginseng or some kind of root. Kind of tastes earthy, some kind of root. It tastes like there might be a hint of rice maybe I'm not sure maybe uh, but again I don't remember what I lost before that I said and didn't get recorded but uh, ranking them from best to worst this one is the best second best third best fourth best fifth best sixth best best this one really wasn't that great didn't smell good the initial taste wasn't good the aftertaste wasn't good um, this one Definitely smells good. It has a go good bouquet. It uh, has a good initial taste, aftertaste. Everything's good about this one. These two, again, could be good on a warm day, maybe. This one, I'd say, for some reason, I, I feel like this one be, has a better chance of being good on a warm day. Sorry. These two seem like they might be good warm or cold. This one seems like it has a better chance of being good warm or cold. There's something about this one. I really like this one. It's it's a unique taste. Like it's that's the best way to describe it for the most part. This one does taste like blueberries and it's good. This one does taste like blackberries and raspberries and it's good. This one I don't know what it tastes like. It's just a mixture. It almost tastes like a mixture of all the fruits or all the berries, like blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, all that stuff. And whatever else they might have thrown in there. It's a little bit of a darker, richer flavor. These are more of a lighter... Well, these are a little bit more watery of a flavor. This one's a little thicker. This one's a little thicker... Um, I don't know. Richer flavor. This one... This one has a good flavor. This one's a little watery. This one's kind of in the middle. This one's thicker, richer flavor. This one tastes like roots, earthy. It's not bad. Especially if you're in Korea and you're expecting something that could taste like that. If you're in the U.S. and you taste that, unless you're at a Korean restaurant, you, if you drink this in the U.S., you'd be like, oh, wow, <laughs> that's weird. Um, where'd you get that? Like, what is that? Did you make that? Is that okay to drink? Um, but then if you're at a Korean restaurant, Chinese restaurant, where, whatever, um, or you buy it at an import store, you know it's going to be unique. Yeah, I mean, I've been, I've been to Canada, all over the U.S., Mexico, Australia, Philippines, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, and I never had anything like that. It's a rooty, earthy flavor, um, and to me, it seems like more of a Korea, Japan, China thing to have something like that, but I've only lived in Korea, so I can only speak for Korea. This is something that you might expect. Uh, what else did I leave out? Because um, I, I said all this before in a different way, but then it didn't get recorded. So a bunch of these did keep, I actually, they all kept the ring on them. This one kept the, has a number. This one doesn't have a number. 
This one does have a number. These two didn't have numbers. This one, I think, did have a number. Yeah. This one, the number was really hard to read. These two both had numbers. And, oh, one thing I was saying before is if you're trying to buy a wine in Korea or something that just tastes good, whether it's for a guy or a girl, this pomegranate makgeolli. I can't talk. This pomegranate soju. I'm getting a little buzzed. I drank a little bit of all these. Just got home from work. I didn't eat or drink anything after work other than these. Um, this pomegranate soju is delicious, warm or cold. It's definitely a lot better cold. So buy this. It's only like $1.52 US. Really cheap. It's 13, it's around 13% alcohol. I don't have the cap right now. Oh, it, yeah, 13.5% alcohol. So this is higher alcohol than some of these and it tastes better than all of these in my opinion and um, it should be easier to find but I was gonna say that and then I was, wasn't sure uh, I don't I had I actually haven't seen the pomegranate one everywhere but I feel like this might be easier to find than these or some kind of flavored soju they also have grapefruit blueberry green grapes uh, some kind of lemon one Another one that isn't lemon, but it kind of looks like a lemon. And then uh, a couple other ones, maybe. But it's mainly the grapefruit, pomegranate, grapes. And oh, I want to say there's a strawberry one, but that's, it's, maybe that's wrong. Maybe I saw this one one time and I was drunk and I thought it was strawberries. Anyways, again... Like I said before, but didn't get recorded. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if I talked about one of these poorly and you want me to try it again, I will. If you want me to try something else that I haven't tried yet, I will. Uh, this is.